Welcome to this Palm Sunday. And what do we say on Palm Sunday? All of you know, Hosanna. One, two, three. Hosanna! Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let us stand and join in our first hymn, in number 204, All Glory, Laud, and Honor. Jesus entered Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday. He brought hope to the people and to the world. The people shouted hosannas. Praise be to God, who we worship this day. Alleluia.
all pray together. Forgive us, great shepherd, for our being such unruly sheep. We stray from your fold, we ignore your call, we get lost, we fall into traps, and we go too far. But we hear you now. Help us turn around to return to your care, to be your own again. Amen. See what the love of God the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. All praise to the Father. so good for Marlis and I to be with you on this morning as we share the wonderful Sunday, Palm Sunday. 
a Sunday that we know that we lift our hosannas to God, knowing that just as the pilgrims who enter Jerusalem, so also we are pilgrims, pilgrims following with Jesus into that wonderful city. Are there other announcements or uh, notifications you would like to make to the congregation at this time? Any other special announcements? Yes. There's a list being passed around. Everyone catch that? Want everybody's name on it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Other announcements? Yes. Yes. Uh, the reminder of the people that the Tuesday night at 7 o'clock will be back from our packs. Other announcements? We know our prayers and thoughts are with many in the community, especially those that are listed in the program, but also those that are deep in our hearts and minds that we know about. Knowing that even if they're unspoken, we know that our Lord hears them and understands the wonder of your love for them and the need of God and Jesus to be with those people who need God's presence. Let us prepare our hearts for prayer as we sing, Worthy is the Lamb. gather before the altar of God and lift our prayers and thoughts unto God, knowing that God's Spirit is with us and amongst us. Let us pray. O God, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Jesus the Lamb of God that takes away our sins and opens unto us a life which can be filled with blessedness, peace, and love. We give you thanks for all that you have given to us. And we pray that others in this world might find also that peace, that peace that passes all the understandings of this world. Oh God, we pray for those who are sick and ill and ask that your healing presence might be with them and that they may see beyond the pain of illness and find the joy of your eternal spirit. O oh God, we lift the prayers at this time in this quietness, knowing that you hear them and answer them in your grace. Lord, we pray this all in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please be seated. Will the children please come forward for the children's chat this morning? Please come up. Oh, so good to see you all up here, huh? Oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Well, here, I'll come out here on this side here so you can see. There we go. You all see me? My name is Eric. I probably, some of you I might have met me before, but others uh, might not have. And I happen to be a visiting pastor. I'm on a pilgrimage to your church. Boy, that's a big word, isn't it? Pilgrimage. Have you ever been a pilgrim? Never been a pilgrim, huh? I have. You have? Good! You've been a pilgrim. Probably on Thanksgiving, you've probably been a pilgrim, some huh? Of my, some, of my, some of my friends at preschool have. Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you what I think is a pilgrim, okay? And maybe you'll agree with me. A pilgrim is anybody that takes a journey and takes a journey to God, to be with God. I guess that means we're all pilgrims, doesn't it? We're all pilgrims. All of us are. All of us are pilgrims. And especially on this Sunday, Palm Sunday, we remember a pilgrimage that Jesus took to the holy city of Jerusalem. Very special thing. And he went into Jerusalem. Now I've got with me, uh, I live in a very old house, very old house. So as a result, I have a lot of these, a lot of old what? Doorknobs. Doorknobs. Anybody collect doorknobs like I do? No, no other doorknob collection? This happens to be a real special one. See what that one is? That's a black enamel one. For antique collectors, these are valuable. Don't throw them away. <laughs> special. Well, what do we do with doorknobs? Open doors. Open doors. Open doors, right? Do you want to open this one here? You want to try it again? What happened? <laughs> The doorknob came off. Have you ever gone to a door and found the doorknob come off? No. No? You never did. In my old house, that happens. That, uh, yeah, wow. In my old house, that happens all too often. What do you do when the doorknob comes off? You say, do you had it happen to you? What do you do? You try to fix it. Do you go into the door? Are you able to open the door? You're not able to open the door. The door, it's almost like it's locked. You can't get in it, huh? Is that the kind of door that Jesus offers us? Does Jesus offer us a door without a knob and to open up? He doesn't do that, does he? Jesus offers us doors to open up so that we can enter in and give praise to God. And on this Sunday... We remember these hosannas that people carried with them as they went into Jerusalem. And the reason why they said that is because when they carried the branch, and the branch means God is with us, they lifted it up and said, Hosanna, blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. May you always know that God and Jesus allows us to open the doors, open the doors of his love for each one of us. So that it's never closed, it's never locked. Have you ever had a locked door? It's not happy, is it? No. No, it's not happy at all. You had it happen, oh boy, when you, especially when you don't have a key. But like, thankfully we have the key. And what is the key? The key is Jesus that opens up the door for us so that we can be filled with God's love. Isn't that wonderful? 
Let's say a prayer together. And please repeat after me, okay? Oh God, oh God. we thank you, we thank you. For, Jesus, for Jesus who opens the doors for our lives to be filled with happiness and love. Amen. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much. Next week you're going to get palms, I understand. And they're going to have palms. And you remember, you enter this, and you enter on this Sunday and on next week, which is Easter. Easter. We celebrate the everlasting presence of Jesus with us. Okay. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, you want to get the? You want to get it behind the? Thing? <laughs> the most important reason. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. This is not bribery.